Okay, in, in this video we will discuss horizontal and vertical asymptotes and find the limits of a given um, function. So what is a horizontal asymptote? A line y is equal to a is called a horizontal asymptote if and only if uh, the limit x approaches to infinity f of x gives you that number a or if you the x approaches to minus infinity of the function it gives you a and similarly a vertical asymptote is a line x is equals to a of the function f if and only if if you approaches a from negative side it gives you positive infinity or negative infinity or if you go to a from the positive side this gives you positive infinity or negative infinity. So let's apply this to different problems. When we're dealing with problems uh, where x approaches to infinity or minus infinity and you have a function of this type then what you have to do is you have to look at the numerator and denominator and you can simplify this by deleting all the terms except the terms in the numerator which has the highest power of x and in the denominator the term with the highest power of x so you can write this down in this format limit x approaches to minus infinity so this is 5x minus 3 the highest term power of x here is 5x is the highest term uh, highest power of x and we remove the 3 and in this one the highest is x plus 10x so you have only x here which is with the highest term and now we can see that x can cancel x so the limiting value that we have is x approaches to minus infinity is 5 and if you apply the limit there is no x so this would give us the constant value 5 so we can see here our a is 5 according to that rule so the limiting value is 5 now the uh, the first thing was horizontal asymptote the horizontal asymptote we said that the limiting when x approaches to positive or minus infinity 5x minus 3 x plus 10 we found was what was 5 this implies our horizontal asymptote 5 is equal to 5 to find out the vertical asymptote this function where limit x approaches to a from negative side 5x minus 3 over x plus 10 is equals to it has to be either positive infinity or negative infinity how this can be positive or negative infinity is if this portion is 0 so if we substitute x plus 10 is equals to 0 this implies x is equals to minus 10 so x is equals to minus 10 is the vertical asymptote now in in this problem again we the we can use the method of the power the x with the highest power and deleting the rest of the terms so above one is again only a function of x so we do not need to delete anything and the below one has plus 100 with it so we can just leave 5x the x will cancel with x you are left with only term minus 3 over 5 which means the answer is minus 3 over 5 so the limit is minus 3 over 5 for the horizontal asymptote we said that the limiting value the limiting value is our horizontal is our horizontal asymptote here that is y is equals to minus 3 over 5 for the vertical asymptote we said that when x approaches to a from negative side or from the positive side this one should give you infinity and when this can be infinity when the denominator is 0 so that is 100 sorry so 5x plus 100 is equals to 0 which means 5x is equals to minus 100 and if you are, if you divide both sides by 5 this gives us minus 20 so this is our vertical asymptote question number 26 
is of this form. So again, we only leave the term of x with its highest power. So here is 8x is the highest power and minus 4x. x cancel with x and 4 times 2. So that gives us the limit. x approaches to minus infinity of minus 2. And so this gives us minus 2. The limiting value is that one. Uh, horizontal asymptote is what? y is equal to whatever is the limiting value. And the vertical asymptote is we say that when x approaches to a from negative or positive sides of 8x plus 10 divided by minus 4x is equal to infinity. And when is this infinity when the denominator is 0? So it means x is equal to 0 is the vertical asymptote. This one is, if we apply the rules, if we put the limits in this one, so this as gives us minus infinity, right? So no limit. So we, don't, we don't have a limit for this one. So the horizontal asymptote would be what we said that y is equals to something over here. It's not a number, so there is no horizontal asymptote. In vertical asymptote, we said that the limit uh, in the denominator, something has to be zero. There is nothing in the denominator here, so no vertical asymptote in this case. In this problem, again, we apply the rules of highest power of x. So that term with the highest power of x here is x squared. We remove 3, and here is only x. So now we can see that this will cancel. The square will cancel with x. So we are left with x approaches to infinity and x. So again, we have infinity, which means no limits for this one. And then we have the horizontal asymptote would be no horizontal asymptote for the vertical asymptotes we can see that the limit x approaches to a of the function x squared plus 3 or x minus 4 is infinity so we have x minus 4 is equals to 0 which means x is equals to 4 is our vertical asymptote in this problem, again, what we have to do is restrict our limit only to the terms of x with the higher power of x. So x cancel with x, this cancel with x, so you are left with 2. So limit x approaches to infinity of minus 2, it means the limit is minus 2, and the horizontal asymptote is y is equals to minus 2. For the vertical asymptote, we said that the limit x approaches to a negative or positive of minus 8x, 4x of 1000 is equals to infinity. Or they come in, when, when will this be infinity is when this one is 0. So 4x plus 1000 is equals to 0, 4x is equals to minus 1000, and if you divide by 2, that gives us minus 250. So that is the vertical asymptote. Uh, this is exactly the same problem. We have 5x plus 10,000 and 2x minus 5,000. So we take the terms 5x and from here 2x, x, x cancel out, 5 over 2. When you apply the limit, you get 5 over 2. So our horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 5 over 2. And for the vertical one, we put the denominator equals to 0. And so of this, this gives us the vertical asymptote. In this example, we can see that uh, we have minus 3x cube is the highest power of x, and here minus 3 minus x cube is the highest power, so we leave it here, and minus 3x cube here. Now, x cube and x cube will cancel each other, minus 3 over minus 1, this becomes plus 3. So the limit is plus 3, and what horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 3, and vertical asymptote is the denominator, put the denominator equals to 0, and then you solve it, this gives us x is equal to 0 is the vertical asymptote.
and this is the final question of this this type of problems so you have 3x cubed minus 500 and 5000 minus x power 3. so in the above one we took the highest power of x which is 3x power 3 and in the denominator the highest power of x is minus x cube so x cube and x cube cancel each other it is plus 3 and this is minus 1 so that gives you minus 3 so the limit is minus 3 horizontal asymptote is y is equal to minus 3 the limiting value for vertical asymptote asymptote we put the denominator equals to 0 <coughs> excuse me and now solve this one so this gives us x is equal to the cubic root of 5000 you can calculate that thing thank you very much